الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی رسول اللہ وعلیٰ علی وصاب اجمعین اما آباد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم و ماں خلق الجن و انسا اللہ علی عبد بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الزی خلق الموت الحیات علی ابل وقم ایکم احسن عملا رب شلی صدری و اسلی عمری وحل العقد تم السان یف کو کولی دا آنریبل اسکالرز اسپیکرز دا ریسپیکٹڈ گیس مائی ریسپیکٹ ایلڈرز مائی ڈیئر برز اینڈ سسٹرز اینڈ دا ملینز آف ویورز ہو آر واچنگ دس پروگرام لائف آن پیس ٹی وی آئی ویلکم آل آف یو ود دا اسلامک گریٹنگز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, be on all of you. The topic of this last lecture, of the last session, of the last day, of the 10-day International Islamic Conference, Peace, the Solution for Humanity, is what is the purpose of our life. How many of us have really ever thought in their life, what is the purpose of our life? How many of us have ever thought, what is the purpose of our existence? What are we doing here? Why are we here? Let us start analyzing right from here itself. I request all the people in the audience, all of you, if you have ever thought in your life, what is the purpose of your life, please raise your hand. I would like to know amongst the audience, how many of you have ever thought in your life, what is the purpose of your life? Fine, maybe I can see 10, 50, maybe 100 hands. An audience of more than 100,000. That is less than 0.1%. Some may have felt shy to raise their hand. So surely I can say less than 1% of the human beings have ever thought in their life what is the purpose of our life. Is it required that should we know what is the purpose of our life? To help you, let me give you an example. Once a man, when he was traveling, and when he came at a crossroad, he asked the passerby, where does this road lead to? The passerby asked him, where do you want to go? The man replied, anywhere. The passerby answered, then take any road, it will make no difference. Imagine that traveler, he had no goal. Whatever actions he did, whatever deeds he did, it made no difference because he wanted to go anywhere. And many of us, are leading our life in the same way. Let me give you one more example. Imagine there is a builder who starts constructing his building and he lays the foundation and he digs a big hole for the foundation. And when you ask him, how many stories is your building going to be? He says, I don't know. How many square feet is the built up area? He says, I haven't thought of it. The builder has got no goal at all. Once there was a man who told his neighbor, your dog always chases vehicles and cars. I wonder, will your dog ever catch up with any car? The neighbor replied, I don't wonder 
whether he'll catch up or not. I wonder if my dog catches up with the car, what will he do? The man who asked him, will the dog ever catch up with the car, he's short-sighted. The neighbor who was the owner of the dog, he was far-sighted. Even if he caught up with the car, what will he do? What is the purpose of his goal? And unfortunately, many of us, we are leading our lives same fashion, just like the dogs. You know, people do graduation, and you ask them, why are you doing graduation? And they don't know the reason. Just because they want to be a graduate. What will you do after you finish your graduation? I haven't thought of it yet. Most of us are leading our lives like that traveler or like the dog who's chasing cars, absolutely without a purpose. Many of us, we copy goals of others without scrutinizing it. When we ask a student, why are you doing commerce? So he will reply, because my friend is doing commerce. Many people, they emulate and they copy the actors, the models, without realizing what they're doing. Once a person comes from the village to Bombay to become a millionaire. And when the question was asked to him, why have you come to Bombay? So he gives a reply that I have seen Amita Bachchan in the Hindi movie. He's a pauper, he comes to Bombay and he becomes a multi-millionaire overnight. That is the reason we find many people coming from outside Bombay and they're settling in Bombay to become a multi-millionaire overnight. And that is the reason you find that the sums in Bombay are increasing. Many times we see actors and models, they are brand ambassadors and they endorse certain products. There was a person who purchased a new car, Hyundai i10. And when the question was asked, why have you chosen this particular car, Hyundai i10? So he says, my favorite actor, Shah Rukh Khan, he owns Hyundai i10. I doubt whether Shah Rukh Khan ever sat in Hyundai i10 except in the advertisement. He may be owning a Mercedes, or a BMW, or somewhat similar, I doubt whether he owns an I-10. You know, Shah Rukh Khan endorsed the watch Tag Heuer. He's a brand ambassador of the watch Tag Heuer, and we find many of his fans buying Tag Heuer. I wonder what has Tag Heuer got to do with the acting of Shah Rukh Khan? Has that watch, has that wristwatch ever helped him in acting? I doubt whether he wore Tiger before he became a famous actor also. So these are the various ways the media promotes products. And unfortunately, we blindly follow goals of other people without realizing what we are doing. Imagine, there's an industrialist who buys a textile factory. And when asked, why have you bought the textile factory? He tells us that I've come to know that there is good profit in textile business. Then you ask the next question. Do you have a feasibility report? He says, no. Have you had someone to take care of your business? Have you hired a CEO, chief executive officer? He says, no. What is the percentage of profit you will make? He says, I don't know. Where will you buy the raw materials for? He says, I haven't thought of it. Where will you sell your textile? He says, I don't know. Do you think 
that businessman will make profit in the textile industry. Imagine there's a person who has a goal. He wants to become the best scientist of the world. What does he do? He does a survey of all the scientists from the first human being, Adam P. be upon him till today. And after doing a survey, he comes to know the best scientist of human history was Isaac Newton. And his survey was correct. After that, what does he do? To become like Isaac Newton, he starts growing long hair, curly hair like Isaac Newton. He wears shoes like Isaac Newton. He wears clothes like Isaac Newton. Do you think he will become a successful scientist? Such people have a goal, but the planning is wrong. They have a planning. They did a survey of the scientists, but the planning is wrong.